what's up everybody welcome to the channel thank you for tuning in good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time of day this message finds you i hope you are in good spirit okay we're gonna jump into this general reading um this is a new deck um, it's called what's new and it's basically about what's going on in current energy so the first two cards that came out are karmics and then we got puzzled so the karmics are puzzled okay whoever this is going to resonate for take the messages only as they resonate uh every message will not be your message okay this is a general read so so the karmics are puzzled by someone The card is laughter. So the karmics are puzzled by someone's happiness, someone's joy, someone's healing. Okay, someone's graduation day. So they're confused about how someone was still able to level up. Okay, this graduation day says leveling up, uh, lessons learned, acquired wisdom. So the reason why this person was able to obtain happiness joy and healing is because this person learned the necessary lessons okay they acquired the necessary wisdom to level up that's why it's their graduation day right turn is in the reverse okay numbing is in the reverse somebody gave up old their old ways okay so these karmics don't understand how this person is still able to move forward is because this person decided to work on them okay that's what happened sos is in the reverse somebody doesn't need help okay i don't know maybe somebody was trying to make it look like you needed help collective but i don't know we got knocked up and then we got rebound so Somebody knock somebody up when they were in the middle of something. I'm going to say that, okay? They could have just went through a breakup. They could have been going through something with the person they were dealing with. And in that time, they were separated from this person. They ended up getting somebody knocked up and we got sipping. So this could have been somebody that they were hanging out with, sipping with, okay? Nosy, spreading rumors, gossiping. So, you know, while they were doing all this sipping, somebody was getting up in somebody's business. And whoever this person was, they were telling this person their business. And this person started spreading rumors based on what they were being told. And by whatever these rumors were that was being spread, you know, a lot of gossip started, okay? Somebody was being extra. So you see, this is this is clown energy, right? Somebody was somebody was doing too much, dramatic, trying too hard. Yeah, starter. Somebody was trying too hard to get something started with all of this gossip. Okay, so we got detective. Okay, so somebody had to be carrying on to the point where somebody, you know, started looking into something. Okay, we got snooping digging for dirt accusations right so not only is this person spreading rumors but you know they looking into your shit the, the, you know somebody knows that they already making up shit but now they trying to look into your shit for real and see what's really going on okay so we got this squad so this squad says reconciliation okay soul tribe close friends so they started looking into your shit and it's like the squad, they came together and they found out about some type of reconciliation, you being connected to some type of soul tribe and some close friends, okay? So we got this friend of me, wine and dine. So it was like somebody got close to somebody that you knew. We got new boo. This person came in like a lover. But this was a friend of me. This person was up to something. This person was up to 
what they researched and found out about whoever you are. And we got red flags, lust. Somebody was only out to use somebody because of something they found out. Okay. Somebody was just getting close to somebody doing too much. Excessive overindulgence. That was somebody's whole point of getting next to somebody. Okay. Because being next to this person allowed them access to what? To overindulge, to do too much. Okay, cuffing season. This is somebody, new boo. This is somebody they hooked up with and got involved with. This was somebody that fake friend, two-faced it, hitting intentions. Okay, this person was only messing around with this person because they had hidden motives. Okay, we got honeymoon. <laughs> somebody could have went as far as even marrying this person. We got player, player. Playing the field, not looking to settle down, seeking options, time. Somebody got trapped. Delay, procrastination, too busy. So now somebody feels like they running out of time on something. Okay. See, this person was in this player energy. Notice how this player got caught up and thrown in a in a marriage. You got honeymoon. Did somebody... Somebody really let somebody get their hooks in them. Okay. And as you can see, this person is running out of time. Literally, that's how this person feels. What are they running out of time for? Chemistry, intense passion. Things are heating up. Okay. Lift off. Fast acting. Progression forward. The wait is over. Like this person feels like they're running out of time. To be elsewhere. They feel like they don't have enough time to get back someplace else. Because wherever they're trying to get back to, they feel like they're missing out on a lot of chemistry, intense passion, and they're missing out on the opportunity that things could be heating up between them and another person. It's like somebody is ready to take off with somebody other than this person they feel like they made a mistake with. Okay? Oh, we got dirty money, um, laundering, stealing, illegal. So somebody got some illegal activities going on, okay? Whoever this person is, whoever they're involved with, this person is. Somebody could be spilling the beans, revealing secrets. Cats out of the bag, untrustworthy. Yeah, somebody could be telling on somebody. Okay, memories. Somebody's thinking about the past. Maybe somebody's putting something all together. And now it's making sense. Yeah, how they got swept up. Head over heels, falling in love, intense emotions. Somebody is thinking about how they really ended up getting caught up with this person. And somebody's tiptoeing, okay? Somebody's trying not to get caught. Avoid getting caught, acting shady, sneaking around. Somebody's being sneaky, underhanded. Somebody's par paranoid, cautious, insecure, and guarded. It could be due to the fact that somebody has illegal things going on in the background, okay? And they don't want no type of exposure. They don't want whatever illegal dealings they had going on. They could feel like they're caught. <laughs> they're paranoid about this. Looking over their shoulder, peeking out the window and shit, okay? Well, we got lipstick evidence. Somebody got caught. Somebody got caught. Infidelity, caught cheating, betrayal, brick wall. Now, whenever somebody found this information out on somebody, they hit a brick wall. Love bombing, right? Somebody realized that somebody was just using them. Friend of me. Somebody just was trying to get next to them because this person had other intentions. Okay, 
And this person was just a part of a bigger plan. We got black sheep rebelling, going against expectations, defying the norms. Yeah, somebody is fed up. My boo. Somebody's fed up with their boo. Okay, somebody's having the blues. Somebody's scared. Heavy in their emotions. Mental distress. They feel like they don't know what to do, how to get out of this. Somebody feels trapped. But they got caught up in somebody's kinky ways. They took that as somebody being high vibing. Until they found, found out this person had a sneaky link. Okay? Okay, somebody found out who the key player was in a Bonnie and Clyde situation. Okay, so, yo, know, somebody found out they were being played. Somebody found out they were, they were chained. Because we got chained and then we got the cleanse. Okay, so this is why somebody started putting two and two together. And figuring out what was really going on. How they really ended up hooked up with somebody. And now somebody realizes they need to detox. Okay? They need to get rid of this negative energy. They need to cleanse their energy of this person. We got this snack card. Obsession, physical attraction, sex appeal. Okay, somebody was trying to make it look like it was love, but this person is very lustful. Like, somebody had a light bulb moment about a situation and a certain person that they got involved with in a relationship with. This person was not who they thought they were, and this was not about what they thought it was really about, okay? Somebody could have ghosted someone. We got no closure, disappearing act, okay? Yeah, machoism is in the reverse. Whoever this person is, this masculine, they're being spiritually awoke, okay? Somebody's got the receipts to prove, okay? Somebody's got evidence. Guilty is charged, exposed. Somebody can prove why everything that happened, happened. Who's behind what? Who did what? Somebody got receipts, okay? And whoever this person is, they just want harmony. And we got by Felicia. Whoever this person is, they are kicking this person to the curb. Somebody had other motives. Okay? Somebody had other motives. Somebody wants to have a heart-to-heart. -heart, okay? So whoever you are in the collective, you are this person that this person walked away from from somebody else only to find out that this person was setting them up it was more to the story okay this person was doing illegal shit with money all right and with this lucky break you're getting ready to have a lucky break okay good fortune things coming turning point yeah things are turning around and Things could be turning around for you, this person. If somebody wants to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, though. But if this didn't happen to you, this is happening to someone connected to you that's getting ready to show back up in your energy. Okay? Yeah, somebody could be looking for a quick getaway. The runner escaping. Somebody's going through it. Reading up, doing research, learning more, gaining insight. Yeah, like I said, somebody's being spiritually awakened and whatever's happening to this person. Okay? It's like they linked up with this Jezebel energy and it was very draining. This was not a a lover or a friend. It was a friend of me. Okay. Somebody full of lust, but at the same time, this person is expecting a baby. So it's like whoever you are collecting, 
it's like they trying to figure out how you made it to your, this graduation day. Maybe they were expecting you to be where they are or, or worse off, okay? But no, that's what the karmics are confused about. You know, how come you get to be okay and we don't? It's like if you can clearly see you made better choices than your person, okay, than these people. But whoever this person is is being spiritually awoken, this person is making better choices also. But that is the message, and I hope it helps. So like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, stay blessed, stay safe, stay positive, and have a good one. Later.